Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond EU Northeast Edition. We are playing Trundle, Time to Troll. That's probably the video title, very original. Um, and yeah, we're going to hopefully have a good time. We'll do Hull Breaker. Uh, we're against a Lee Sin, which this matchup should go pretty well for us. Excuse that the challenge is, is taking over the top left, but it's just me, so it doesn't matter. Uh, high Platinum, we have Duo Bot Lane. We have a Pike Mid for some reason. I, I genuinely didn't really think that was a thing anymore. This rumble looks like an absolute god. Wow. And then there's those two. Main band Lulu. Vulnerable Draven. Uh, Galio in mid. Viego and then Lee Sin top. So he doesn't play a lot of Lee Sin. But the one game he did, he did quite well. But yeah, time to troll. I did play a little bit of, of Trundle on my other account in the last few days. Um, and it was it went pretty well. But the games overall didn't go good. That was the unfortunate thing. But uh, yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing the troll. Is he the troll king? He might be the troll king. The troll king in top lane. All right, welcome to the game. Time to thunk thunk. You love the fan sound in the background? It's my air conditioning unit. Yeah, apologies. I do kind of have to have that on because it just gets too uncomfortable otherwise. You realize you had a body of iced coffee in the fridge. Oof, nice. I I can't remember the last time I saw a pike mid. It's been a long time. You got a problem with me? Join the club. <laughs> I get it. Join the club because he's holding a club. His model kind of looks kind of old, considering he's a rework champion. Does Lee Sin top normally start Q? Nope. Normally starts E or W. Yeah, Pike lost all his weight. But to be fair, what's the current meta, guys? Screw mid lane, roam, roam, roam. So maybe Pike mid in, in the design, it fits. Because Pike always never cared about mid. It was always about roaming. Wasn't he reworked years ago? Dude, in my mind, he was reworked yesterday. When was he reworked? Can someone actually find out? Because if someone says, like, 2015, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Oops. I mean, yeah, if you're very good at pike mid, you can make it work, I guess. But it's just not something that I would recommend. Oh my god, I nearly half helped him in three auto attacks. What's that about? No, it's not 20. He did not get a rework in 2013. Nope. Hell no. Nope. 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 That is that is just no. No way. Why does the bite do so much damage? What about damage? Like, Trundle is pretty good at the moment, I think, by the way. Ooh, I forgot one more auto. Gotta be careful of Viego gank soon. So I'm looking... So, again, you look at the minimap a fair amount, but when I think a jungler could be nearby, I'm looking at the minimap just a little bit more than I normally do. Is it... No, is it actually 2013 when Trundle got his rework? I don't believe it. I can't. No way. Are you guys sure? If I had to guess, I would have said 2017.
That doesn't make any sense. Bran died without using a single summoner. Hmm. And Draven looked pretty low. So top lane, Lee Sin, remember, is a fairly early game champion. So if he needs to get ahead in the early, arguably, I don't. I'm Trundle. So if this guy is losing lane, which he kind of is, this is really bad, this Lee Sin. It is 2013. Oh my god. That's actually kind of crazy. Think about that. That's eight years ago. My mind is just having like an internal explosion. What? That's nuts. I can't but like, dude, I, I know this might, I don't want to sound like in a sour way or a down note. Live the best life, guys. Be positive to people. Be nice to people. Live every single day the best you possibly can. Because what the hell? Trundle rework was 2013. I thought it was like a year or two ago. Time flies. Don't waste your time hating people or trolling people. Literally on Trundle. Just have a nice life and be kind to people. Because it goes fast. It's going so fast. It's mind-boggling. Jesus Christ. That's brave. Wait, he at level 6? the hell's that about? Well, that wasn't worth for you, bud. I guess he stayed in lane like a, a little bit more, but I'm, I am kind of surprised he hit level 6. Oh, Huzzy Cannon. The thing with Trundle, I've played him now a few times recently. His mana is the issue. What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. I think I flashed when I didn't want to. Oh my god, Rumble's not level 5. If he was level 5, look at that ult. Here he goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's killing everything alive. Well. Again, I don't really mind the Death Lee Sin. I misplayed it really badly. But I know I outscale, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I just misplayed it. So it's my fault. Well, Pike got a lot of kills. But again, before that, Pike has been losing lane quite badly. Huge farm difference in mid. But I guess Pike has never really cared about farm. Single I don't like about Pike. A noble Vengeance. Oh, dude, welcome to the year club, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, the thing I've never liked about Pike is that they'll get like 25 kill Pike and it'll do no damage. It's literally there basically just to KS. Uh, Kali Moose, thank you so much, dude, for the gifty subby. So yeah, we're expecting a Draven to win lane. We're expecting a Lee Sin to win lane. And then hopefully we outscale. Well, we should outscale. Draven falls off compared to Samira. Trundle, fall, uh, Lee Sin falls off compared to Trundle. He might be taking blue. That's annoying. Not really much I can do about it. Other than push it out and just go and have a look. Oh no. He did that. Lee Sin could still do... Oh, he didn't do blue. Okay. So when I actually don't make a mistake, how free of a kill was that? What the hell? That wasn't even close. Trundle, baby. And remember, I'm not really supposed to be winning right now. 
I'd say when I should start beating this brand dies a lot without using his sums, dude. He just doesn't use his sums. Uh, when should I beat this guy? I would probably say... Oh, by the way, watch the tower damage. Yep, that's two tower plates instantly. Literally instantly. Like, that's mad. Um, I'd say two items. I'd say Divine purchased and Hullbreaker purchased. And then I don't think Lee Sin will be able to do anything to me. So getting a cheeky kill like that, when I probably shouldn't, is really good. How did the Alistair game go? Really good. Uh, we, I, I'm very happy with how we played. And we synergized really well with the, the good Tristana. There we go. It's always a good time. Whoa, Do you know, funny story, the Lego Movie 1, really good. I think most of us can agree, it was a good film. Me and my friends, before, you know, the world kind of went a, a year or two ago, we, we used to do, like, a monthly cinema trip. And, you know, sometimes you run out of films to actually watch when you go to the cinema so much. And Lego Movie 2 was in cinemas. And we were like, well, should we just watch that? It was really awkward. The whole cinema was filled with kids. And I don't know if anybody's watched Lego, uh, cinema, Lego Movie 2. It kind of feels, I don't know if this is a good thing to say, but like Lego Movie 1 was like more of a generic kid movie. And then Lego Movie 2, I think they kind of went with the more like girl vibe, which is cool. Um, so we were literally watching a, a film with kids it taking up the whole movie theater. And the film itself was probably more for girls. And I was like, oh God, this is awkward. Okay, he's fallen off already. He even kicked me into tower and it just doesn't matter already. Wow. But yeah, I loved the Lego Movie 1. It was great. And then Lego Movie 2 is literally just one song. This song gonna get stuck inside you. This song gonna get stuck inside you. This song gonna get stuck inside your head. That, hot, that song is it. That's the whole movie. And then Lego Movie 1. What was that one? Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. You're part of a team. Everything is awesome. You live it in a dream. That's a good song, to be fair. Like, just, just not even joking. That's a good song. Oh, but you guys just chilling in bot. Rumble should head bot lane. He's got the... Uh... Oh, what's that positioning? Okay, he dead. What the fudge was that? Goddamn Samira. What was that? Brand didn't even ult. No. But I will say, I, I've enjoyed like Lee Sin being back in kind of meta, but it, I, again, it has confused me. Like, look, he's buying anti-healing now, by the way. That isn't all my strength. My damage is actually my strength, but anyway. Um, yeah, it has confused me that Lee Sin's managed to be meta, because again, there's not really an early game in League of Legends anymore, and Lee Sin really falls off. Like, he, luckily for Lee Sin, he does have, like, ways of being useful. Look at that damage, half health. He does have ways of being useful, like his kick. He, will, he can get a clutch kick in late game, and he can just suddenly get the AD carry in a kick, boom, you win the game. So, like, yeah, he can do that, but the champ himself does fall off. Oh, the Lee Sin Q hit. Damn, I should have 2v1 that. I knew it was coming because the Lee Sin's been sucking, but I, sh oh, yeah, I just misplayed. If the, I tried to flash the Lee Sin Q, but it hit. I didn't think it hit. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But they killed everything in bot lane, so it kind of works out. At least, like, when the jungle has come top, they've been punished for it by their bot lane getting crushed. 
All right, hull break, uh, not hull break, yeah, hull break and exciting, by the way, everybody, if you're wondering the build. To be fair, though, we're already winning lane, and I didn't really expect to be winning lane yet, so... This is pretty good. Wait, what? Why are there four people top lane? Okay, I guess it's Camp Huzzy now. Hey, Pickle. Legit four people top lane. If they kill the brand for my death, I guess that's fine. Or, you know, Rumble's taking dragons. So we're still gaining. I guess they think they've realized that I'm a problem. So they have to try and camp the living hell out of me. Well, this isn't very fun. She flashed. God damn it. Two big get camps in a row. Again, it doesn't really matter because the Lee Sin, like, it's, it's, it's kind of a fight to a, a no cause. It's not like Lee Sin's going to be managing to do stuff against a, a Trundle. It just ain't going to happen. Diego. What the hell? Is he, he might be dead. No. No. Hey, Aaron. Might get a blade through in King later as well. So, I'm not a big fan of split push, by the way. Uh, people know this, but... And also, yeah, Draven's fallen off. Um, I will be split pushing this game. Because I'm going to be buying Hullbreaker. And you literally have to split push to make the item worth having. So... You can't fight me, dude. Why are you trying to fight me? <sighs> Again, you people like Huzz, that was actually close. It was close because I was sloppy because I knew he was dead because Rumble's here. If if that was if I had to play that properly, I would have tried to dodge the Q. So close of surviving that. One more auto. So yeah, this Viego's just camping me now, I guess. Which is fine. It's fine. Uh, boop. Shame that Rumble... That must have been like that waiter. That, that's uh, the comedy sketch that one waiter goes on the indoor, one goes on the outdoor. Uh, Dr. Stupid Triple Eight. Thank you so much, dude, for the tier two sub for 14 months. Also on a 14 month streak. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But yeah, Rumble must have con come down as Viego was going up. Maybe I need anti-healing as well, because he has got a gore drinker, and his W gives lifesteal, so that's quite a lot of lifesteal. Yeah. I'll probably get the execution of myself. I probably won't get... Well, Bramble will be kind of useful also. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, anti-healing would actually be very useful because Draven also heals. The Pike is 7-0, by the way, but he looks pretty weak. That's the thing with Pike, is a lot of the time they are quite weak. Nice. Double kill for Rumble. Oh, good stun. Diego's dead again. Draven legit might be inting. I don't know. Like, he just walked straight into the enemy team and he's on nine, nine deaths. So my team's acing them without me. We'll take that, I guess. I was thinking about going for her there, but I can't be bothered. We stopped her base. Remember, this is without Hullbreaker. I don't have bonus tower damage right now. It's just mental how much tower damage Shundle does. 
Oops. So my team's got a rift a oh god oh is it gonna get one charge off? I am the scuttle crab. Not scuttle crab, rift. Thanks, Dino. Alright. We can go get it. <laughs> the funny thing is, by the way. Is I don't even need hole breaker anymore. I've already broken into the boat that I was going to break into. All their towers are basically dead. I'm fl I'm coming. Yeah, I helped. They w they surrendered. Great. Hey, look at that hole breaker. the hell i'm probably gonna title this video i've actually got a really good idea trundle is hull breaker i think that's what i'm gonna do also we can add the tick to top lane but basically the i oh, ah wait 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 ah calm down Dink. there you go we added a tick now we can do it um think about it hull, uh, trundle is hull breaker because I literally killed every single tower like absolute crazy without Hullbreaker. So Trundle himself is Hullbreaker. Huzzy big brain. And also we bought we bought a, a Hullbreaker too. Uh I don't know. Well done, Rumble, I guess. But yeah. Oh, we got promoted. I kind of forgot. Okay, cool. Uh we went 341, not the best KD. Damage wise, pretty good damage considering what was going on. As I mentioned, look, Pike. Least damage on our team, but like amazing KDA. That literally summarizes Pike. He just KSs everything. Huh. Um, but we would have had a good KDA this game. But then as you guys saw, Viego decided to live top lane. And also we had then at one point had four people top lane. So the enemy team really wanted me dead. But if you guys enjoyed this fun game on Trundle, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.